I'm here to talk to you today about nosebleeds. Now, most nosebleeds occur from the front portion of your nose from an area called Kieselbeck's plexus. As such, what you'll want to do if your nose bleeds is you'll want to apply pressure to the front portion of your nose, just like you're pinching if you're going to jump into a pool of water. What I commonly see as a mistake that people will make is that they'll hold the bone at the top of their nose, which doesn't really help things because none of the blood vessels that supply that part of the nose that you want to pinch off go uh, through that area. You'll want to hold the pressure on your nose for at least 10 minutes. I'd recommend using a stopwatch or keep your eyes on a clock just to help you keep track of time. Now after your nose stops bleeding, never blow to check your nose because all you'll do is make it bleed again. Instead, what you'll want to do is just dab to check to see if the blood is still flowing. If at that point the blood is still flowing heavily, I would recommend that you come see us in the emergency department so that we can help you. If you seem to be getting nosebleeds frequently, it may be a good idea for you to see your family doctor. They could refer you to an ENT specialist who could help for more definitive management such as cauterizing the area that is bleeding inside your nose. Just remember after you get your nose to stop bleeding that you can apply a small amount of Vaseline or polysporin ointment to the area just to keep it from bleeding again in the future as the area can become cracked and dry and that's when you get a recurrent nosebleed.